This is Dwayne with Headwater Seat Covers. Uh, so for those who don't know, uh, the new Rams, the new 2019 Rams, uh, has come out with two uh, different backrests. Uh, some of the backrests have a rounded uh, edge underneath the headrests. Then some of them uh, have a dip underneath the headrest. Alright, so this is going to be a video uh, for the 402040 uh, with a non-opening middle bottom um, and it's got the rounded seats to them. Hello, this is Paul with Headwater Seat Covers. Today we're installing the new model 2019 Dodge Tradesman seat covers. Uh, this particular model has what we call 402040 seat, meaning equal parts 40 on driver and passenger and then a smaller 20% section. Um, this particular model has what we call opening console, three drink holders um, in the front, and that simply will lift up. And this also has the non-opening middle seat bottom. If you have an opening seat bottom, I have a lever right here. This one is just material that goes all the way down to the floor. Okay. Um, tools you're gonna need for this process are just a small flat screwdriver. We're gonna use a scissors to trim excess material. Then we're gonna just need uh, paper towels and uh, some rubbing alcohol. And we'll use that to prepare the surface of the plastic. We're just gonna put a couple of Velcros, adhesive Velcros on the inside of that for you. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, um, the seats have airbags on the side. So it's imperative that you get the backrest on the proper side. The driver's side will have a label on the back side uh, indicating the driver's side. We provide for the airbag same way that the factory does is we sew that with a little tiny breakaway thread. Um, use caution when you're installing. Everything underneath the seat is pretty darn sharp. Um, the seat moves on the seat slides. Uh, the seat slides are usually what has the grease. So when your hands come from underneath the seat, just keep a rag handy and look at your hands before you start touching your seat cover because it's likely you have some grease on your hands you could easily smear onto your seat cover. Um, the easiest way to prepare the seats for installation, you want to completely clean them and remove all the dirt and the grit from the seats. Um, the best way to take off pet hair or even uh, dust and debris is just clear packaging tape. Um, so strip off about a two foot section, rub your fingers into that. You might be able to move it once, usually. You throw it away, strip off another piece, uh, rub your fingers into it, and, and it'll take all that stuff off just for pennies. Um, to prepare the seat for installation, you'll notice that we have a center seat belt here and uh, it goes through a, an elastic right here. So we're gonna have to temporarily disconnect this so we can push this down through, because our seat cover will have elastic on it. Um, so when we're gonna install that middle seat bottom, we're gonna temporarily remove those, okay? Then we have this little push button here, you can see. Um, that'll release the shoulder belt. We just push that in. Release the shoulder belt, and that'll go to the back of the cab. Some people, uh, prefer to run with it like that until they have a center pasture they can hook it up and then we'll just simply uh, release that. Um, same going for the driver's seat bottom also has an elastic on it that we will temporarily remove and uh, we'll just be replacing that with an elastic on the seat cover in the exact same location. Continuing to prepare the seat um, we're going to release the carpeted flap so there's a carpeted flap that's pinned underneath the seat and as you can see it has these little plastic clips right here. Um, those are fastened underneath the seat. We're going to show you how to remove those. And But once you have it disconnected you can just flip it up and it'll stay propped up in that position. Uh, there's a couple of ways to remove them. You can, you can reach underneath the front and pull those clips forward um, or you can reach underneath the back edge and uh, pop them out that way. Okay, you can feel where the elastic is here. We're gonna follow that up, up right to the bar and just push forward. You're gonna push your thumb into that clip and push it forward and that clip will just release. Go over to the other one, carefully push that forward and release. Um, as I mentioned earlier, um, you'll notice the driver's side has our label on the back side. 
and that shows you that we have provided uh, for the airbag seam. Now we can kind of compare the two here real quick. You can see that the side of our seat cover is exactly what the side of your seat has. So we've sewn an airbag seam in here. We call airbag seam just a tiny little breakaway seam just like the factory has. So that's where your airbag is going to deploy. Um, and like I said, the uh, label goes to the back side and the label is on the driver's side. You'll also notice that all the pieces of your seat cover are going to be labeled on the inside right and they'll you'll have a, a glossary of terms that you'll be able to determine this. This is the DT, um, which driver's top, we've named them all very common sense. Console is C, middle bottom is MB, lid is L, um, driver bottom DB, passenger bottom PB, um, the headrests are marked H. We're going to uh, start installing on the, the, the center section, on the 20% section first. I kind of like doing that uh, first and kind of work my way out. I'm going to slide the seat all the way back and I'm going to install on the middle seat bottom first and I'll just do that by just simply getting in the vehicle. Okay so we're going to start on the middle section and we can tell these are the headrests. We're going to set those aside. This is the lid or the console lid, the top that flips up. Also set that aside. Um, this is for your console. Has a big opening for the three drink holders here in the front. And middle bottom, I'm going to look inside the back here. And as I as I take a look at that, I can read the initials there. It says MB. Okay. Um, this is the driver's seat bottom. And we'll set that aside, but as you can see there, on the inside right part of the driver's seat bottom, um, you'll see DB. That goes to the back, and you'll also notice that elastic that we've uh, replaced from the factory there it goes to the inside to hold that seat belt. We'll set that aside. So we're going to flip this console up. We've already prepared the seat by removing those elastics here. Um, we've replaced those on the seat cover with uh, elastics of our own. So the MB is going to go to the back side on this model and we're just going to fit that right over the front and with all of our seat covers the real goal to getting them put into place correctly is to line up the seams of our seat cover to the seams that are on your seat. You can see that they're going to follow uh, and they're going to match really closely. Same thing for the backrests and the seat bottoms. So I'm going to pull that over. We're going to line up the seams to the seams that are on your seat. Get that all nice and equalized. And come back over here and tuck this in. Now at this point, um, I'm going to go ahead and fold the, the console down and then tuck this piece of material in here. Okay. Okay, we're going to pull this back through and just get it snug. We're not going to stick it down yet, but so we're just going to get it snug. And I'm going to probably set it up there a little bit out of the way. Now I'm going to grab this side of the cover. Notice the uh, hook Velcro there. I'm going to take this side, make sure that it's pulled down all the way. And you can give it a pretty good tug. I'm going to take my hand and slide it down along the seat a little bit. And then I'm going to just take this hook and press it to the fuzz on the side of the seat. We have um, a 1x12 hook Velcro here. What we're going to do is I'm going to tuck that down and that's just going to go at an angle around to the back side. So right here, just going to tuck this down and I'm reaching right now under that middle seat a little bit. Okay. There we go. I'm going to reach my hand carefully underneath there. There's that hook Velcro. And just to give it a little tension on the side, doesn't have to be that tight. You just pull that around, press it to the fuzz on the back side, and you can reconnect that Velcro. Likewise, I'll do the same for this side. I'm going to just take this Velcro from the side, pull it tight, and press that right in. Take my side Velcro. Get that tucked down in there. 
and connect that. And lastly, we're just going to go ahead and then we're going to take this um, piece of hook velcro and press it down. Now we've noticed through the years that uh, some models may not have this fuzzy carpet here, in which case the seat cover is going to have loop velcro sewn on top here. And those side velcros, that these little side 45 guys, they're going to hook right up to the back edge of that seat cover and that will hold that in place. So lastly we're just going to press this down to the fuzzy carpet right on the back side of the seat. Okay, lastly we'll go ahead and put the uh, seat belts through the elastic that we've provided on the seat cover for you. Center elastic there. Next we'll uh, install the console on there and just keep in mind the big opening here goes right over the, uh, the three drink holders there. So to install that we're just going to lift that up a little bit. Slide the front of that cover on. And keep in mind it's going to be snug. It will be snug. So, you know what, I'm going to turn on this. Okay. Might be easier to turn and actually face the console as you're putting this on. So we're going to turn and put that on. So what I'm trying to do here is I'm working the seam, this fabric, this material here, I'm, I want to work that to the outside. That's what I'm trying to do here. All along the front, because we don't want to have that showing there. So I'm going to work that to the outside here. And then I'm going to lift this uh, console up. I'm going to grab onto the left and the right sides. I'm going to kind of pull it down into position. And again, what we're looking to do is we're looking to line up the seams of our seat cover to the seams that are on your seat. All along the front here, there's also the seam of this material, where this piece is sewn to this piece. There's salvage on the inside. We want to work that to the inside, up over here. Just makes the corners nice and round. I'm going to take, pull this down, form this corner in. Everything's looking really good there. Next we're going to take and tuck the uh, seat cover behind this plastic of the hinge here. And we're going to do that on the bottom. I'm going to come over and just tuck this side, same way, tuck that in. And then what I'll do is I'm just going to hold my hand in there. I'm going to fold this down so I don't lose any ground there. I'm going to take the back side of this console cover. I'm going to pull it up nice and tight. At this point we can open up this console lid. Now you notice there's a little bit of hook velcro here. It sticks to that magic fuzz. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this up and I'm going to hook this up to the fuzz. Now keep in mind here, here's a, a very important aspect of this. We want to keep this gap the same coming along the front. Okay. So as you get this pulled into position you want to have about the same amount here to here. Uh, well, guys, sometimes we'll get it crooked. If it's on our crooked, we'll have this pulled over all the way tight and this big gap over here. Um, you just want to want to equalize that. Easiest way of doing that, I just kind of pull on it, make sure they're roughly equal. The way I do that is I'm going to hook this first one with the hook Velcro. So you want to tuck it in behind that little piece of plastic there. Give it a little pull and then fasten that Velcro. The next guy that we're going to hook up, um, we're going to also tuck. Underneath the plastic here, you can see there's a little piece of hook Velcro. It's going to stick right there. You're going to pull that up tight and stick that in. Now you'll notice on the back side we have a couple of Velcros extending into the cavity. At this point, we'll want to tuck those in next to that hinge. And here, you see how neatly that goes? This one is a half inch wide because that's all the space we have. This one we've made an inch wide because we have a little bit more room. At this point, you'll notice you have a couple extras on here. That's in case you stick some down and they don't they don't uh, immediately go on. We'll pull those off, set those aside. So what we're going to do is we're going to tip the Velcros inside the cavity and kind of take note of where they're going to lay. We're looking here, here. This one's going to hit here. This one will hit here. What you want to do, what we're going to do, is we're going to prepare the surface 
of the plastic to accept the adhesive Velcros with rubbing alcohol. We're going to do this by first scrubbing hard while it's wet and then wiping it dry. So it's kind of a timing thing. you got to do kind of fairly fast. So as this sits, this Velcro is going to want to sit here. I'll just take that and I'm going to go right inside and I'm really scrub hard on the side of that plastic. And then while it's wet, wipe it dry. What that's going to do is if you just wipe off the plastic and let it air dry, it'll leave all the residue in that on that plastic and then the Velcro won't adhere as good. So just tip them inside scrub hard where they're going to lay, dry it off, now if the Velcros do not stick, which is very possible in a lot of new models, or if somebody has uh, put armor all or any kind of fabric type of or a material protectant on there, um, it's going to inhibit it from sticking. So what you want to do at that point is you're going to have to clean this with soapy water and then get on here with the rubbing alcohol. To adhere these, I'm just going to give very, very slight pressure up. You don't want to pull down and, and try to fasten that Velcro with a lot of pressure. The Velcros can only withstand about 10 pounds of pressure, of sideways pressure. Um, we do use high heat Velcro brand adhesive velcro as you notice here i press that on there and i'm pushing in there pretty hard to get that to stick if in fact you put on the velcros and they're starting to peel off stop and don't go any farther if you find you've cut yourself short on velcros you just kind of went around and pretty soon they're starting to peel off usually they won't stick once they've peeled off but if you can take your spares you can have a one inch square just cut that in half so you have a half inch square. That's really all you need to hold is a half inch. So I got that down, that's where it's gonna go. So you basically, you're gonna peel that off. Very important not to touch this with your fingers because the oil from your hands will keep it from sticking as well. Okay. Back edge simply just needs to be pulled up to the back of the hinge where it's at, I can see here. You pull that too far forward, it's going to inhibit your hinge and your, your lid won't want to stay open as well. So, I just want to leave that just a touch shy. Peel and stick. Give that a good hard push down. Looks like we have good adhesion. This high temp Velcro is good to 140 degrees, so as hot as the inside of your vehicle is going to get, they're going to stick on there. Next we'll install the console lid on this. So I'll just carefully uh, disconnect those Velcros, and what I do is I'm just going to lay them off to the side. You will really try to connect to each other if you don't make an effort to keep them apart. So that's what I do is just open them up them to the side you'll notice that they're all one inch wide except for this one again here on this side same as the console there's a, a real narrow gap for uh, for the velcro to feed um, and on the inside right as you'll see in the back edge you're gonna notice there is the L which stands for lid so again inside uh, back right so what I do is I'm just going to grab this with all the Velcro here and I'm just going to take it and turn it all in one motion. And if you do that right, uh, it'll kind of help keep it all from sticking. So here it goes. Take that right over. Work good. Flopped it over. Okay, firstly, we're going to take the back corner um, where the L was. We're going we're gonna to hook that over, pull that forward, and that's going to hold that on there. So I'm going to take and hold this cover down with my forearm. And here again, see where the seam is, the material where it's sewed together? I want to push that to the outside. So here, I'm just going to take that okay, and push that to the outside here. All the while, I'm holding this cover on, okay? I'm going to pull that over this front corner. Now it's on there, semi. Oh, we're going to have to redo this, pull it over this corner. Remember, guys, this is going to be really tight going on. They have to be tight, otherwise they're going to move around on you. Okay, so we have it held into place. Okay. Now, 
I'm going to lift this up, but I'm going to still hold the front of it on here. And I'm going to sneak that Velcro right through the edge of that seam. Okay. I wanted to hook up that one. Pull that fairly tight. And I'm just going to hook that on there with a corresponding Velcro right on the front. Just a, just a little bit because I'll end up reconnecting that. Okay. I'll pull the front side here. And have the other Velcro. Over here. I'm going to want to pull this forward a little bit more. I want the front edge of this cover to be pretty close to the front edge of, of the lid there. I'll lift this up. This one I'm going to tighten up and I'm going to connect here. The best way, see how they like to stick? The best way of connecting these is to hold on to the ends and then connect. Okay, so now we have the to front to back. Here's a nice way of tightening those up too. So you, I'm just basically going to take this and just give it a little pull, pulling the Velcro. It just tightened up a little bit. So then I'm going to take it and take it loose. Here again, the best way to tighten this, hold on to the ends, fasten it there, fasten it there. I'll go ahead and move on to the bottom side, the bottom Velcro, and I'll pull that tight. And I can see that's getting right nicely to the edge of the fabric there. Pull that tight. Fasten, tight, okay, and one more complete, go ahead and fold that down, see how she looks, should just be, should just be super tight as they say, um, you know, bounce a quarter off that thing is how tight that should be. Okay, next we're going to work on the driver's seat bottom, which will be labeled DB, so carefully remove the Velcros off the back edge. Yeah, you'll notice a couple of plastic buckles with Velcro uh, here. We're going to just take those. We can set those behind the seat. What we're going to do with those is we're going to hook those underneath the, the back side of the seat, and those are going to hook up to the seat cover. keeps it from moving around or shifting forward. Okay, so we're going to kind of put the, the cover on, kind of like we did the lid. Hold the Velcros to the side. Just one final swoop. Lay that over. Um, you'll want to keep the, the seat cover turned inside out as you're placing it on. You'll notice there's hook Velcro designed to stick to that fuzzy carpet, but we don't want it to stick yet. Um, here again, as we're going to install the seat cover, turn that inside out for you. Um, we want to take the salvage, which is this piece, where the two are sewn together. We want to push it to the outside. We want to make that lay right over here. So we're going to start it out that way by folding that over and then all that material we want to go to this side. We don't want it packed up to the top side of the seat cover. Okay, so we're going to work the front of the cover over, same way. Just want to just line, line that up. And nice pull back into the spot. And yeah, we're going to continue working that seam uh, just like that. Next thing we're going to do though is we're going to tuck that seat cover down behind the plastic cowling. So the seat cover is going to tuck in there a good good inch behind the uh, that plastic here. Nice and easy. Use caution. And here again, I'm trying to work the, the fabric from the two. I want to work it to the outside. See how nice that has that looking? And we want to line up the seams of the seat cover to the seams that are on your seat. Well, as I can see here, I don't have it lined up. See the seam up here? Here's the original seam is running down this way. So that just tells me I need to pull that cover back, right? I want to line up those seams to the seams that are on your seat. And see here, the wrinkle here, this goes away just by just taking your hand and just putting your fingers right in there and sliding your hand down along the side of that seat. And that has that snugged up very nicely. Um, next, we're going to go ahead and just tuck this, the back edge of that seat cover in. And as I'm putting it in here, I can see that I don't have it quite uh, where I need it, too. Hey, we're showing a little bit of material here. It needs to move this way a little bit. I can do that just simply by reaching behind the seat here and uh, sliding that over. Slide that over. Okay. Now we're going to flip the back crest ahead. We can route this side Velcro. Um, all of our Velcros, we always turn them when we're, we're routing those. I'm going to put it with the sticky in, so it just stiffens that up just like a ruler. Um, and I'll show you exactly where this has to, to go down. So, 
it's going to go right down in this little hole here. And you'll notice the piece of metal right there, the seat cover is actually going to tuck behind that once we get that pulled into position. So you're just going to push that straight down. It's going to come out right here. Okay. So I'm going to take that. So watch, watch the Velcro up here. I'm going to pull on that Velcro nice and easy. Okay. I'm going to slide on the cover nice and easy so we can look down in here now. And we'll see that the seat cover is now behind that piece of metal right there, okay? I got that. Tuck that. Next, I'm going to take and fasten this uh, inside hook Velcro. Remember, this is uh, hook Velcro that's going to stick to fuzzy carpet that's on the inside of the seat because we have this the cover, cover position left right really well. So I'm going to just take you, see you got a little bit of wrinkles here, but I'm going to just remove those by sliding my hand across here. See how it all tightened up? And keeping it tight, I'm just going to push it right down. Just I just let that material just unwrap and press right in to connect those Velcros. This front one, I just pulled down a little bit. You can see the cover tighten right here. Just pulled down a little and fastened that on there. Next, we'll route the front edge Velcros to the back. Again, easiest way to do that is just to fold them in half lengthwise with the sticky going in. Stiffens them up, just like a ruler. Makes it easy, and I will just route these. Now, you want to make sure that you avoid any seat wires. You want to make sure that you um, don't pin any wires to the seat. We want to avoid any mechanisms of the seat so we're not hampering that. So the best way I know to do that so I'm just going to take this Velcro, I'm going to duck my head down under the seat and exactly where it's sewn on is exactly where that has to be routed. Okay, now while pulling on the back edge of the seat cover here, I'm going to run my hand, I'm going to slide it down the front of the cover. Now make sure you look at your hands so you don't have any grease on them. Slide your hand down the front of the cover, hold that in place, okay? Now I'm going to get around to the back side. While holding that thing in place, it has not moved. Now I'm going to come with the other hand and connect this Velcro right to the back edge. Okay? I'll just move over to the other side. Same way. I'm sliding my hand down the front of the seat. I'm pulling it nice and tight. Okay? And we're going to take that Velcro. We're going to bring it up, fasten to the back edge of the seat. Okay? Okay, and uh, next we're going to go ahead and fasten this outside Velcro uh, right onto that loop strip, right onto that back edge, so pull it nice and tight here. Okay, next we're going to take these plastic hooks, we're going to fasten them under the seat, and they're going to come up to the back edge of the seat cover, and that'll keep that seat cover from moving. Okay, we're going to hook the clip up to this metal bar that runs side to side here. We're going to put Oh, two kind of about five to six inches, uh, but towards the center of the seat. Best way to do that is take your hand here, hold the jaw of the snap up, and I'm just going to hold up and pull back with the other hand. Okay, put that to the bar, bring that right up to the back edge of the seat, grab the other one, and like I said, just press up on the bar, connect to it. Bring that right up to the back edge of the seat, and you got it. Okay, next we're going to do the headrest installation, so carefully open up that Velcro. We're going to place that cover on with the extending Velcro to the front. Now this headrest cover is very tight. You'll notice here, it tapers in and it gets real small, so that means that this headrest cover is going to be really tight until we get it on to about right here. So we're going to slide that on. And you're going to actually have to compress this headrest a little bit to get it to go over. Okay, so I'm squeezing that in, and I'm going to just move it on just a little bit at a time. Okay, again, you want to line up the seams of the seat cover to the seams that are on the headrest. Okay, now we're getting mostly down there. We'll just kind of reposition that. It's just a lot easier way to get those headrest covers on. So now I want to finish this off. I'm going to just recline the backrest. 
And I'll push in the push button releases here. Get that to come out. Like all of our covers, we want to line up the seams of the cover to the seams that are on your seat. Make sure we get that nice and straight. Lastly, we're going to tuck in the back edge. And then we're just going to take this loop velcro and press it right over the top. Okay, now uh, we're going to lastly install the backrest, the inside of the driver top. Um, we'll say DT, and also driver side will have our label on the back side of it. And uh, make sure we get that on the proper side to provide for that airbag. Um, you also notice there's a couple of buckles hooked to a couple of the, the, the loop Velcro sewn on the front edge of that seat cover. Just take those guys off. And the very first thing we're going to do is show you where these guys go. Okay. Now I'm going to show you one in position first. Okay. Here's one in position. You can see that, that this hook has gone inside this hole. There's just a little slot up in the inside of that hole. So what you're going to do is you'll slide this this hook up inside the hole and then once you feel where that slot is there you just push in here and then just pull down and it snaps right into that. Okay and we have both of these in right now snapped into position um, and getting ready for the the backrest. So we'll straighten this up um, so the front edge of the seat cover is going to be these two loop Velcros. That's where those buckles are going to hook onto. Then you notice there's a couple of 1x10 uh, hook Velcros hanging off the front. And then we have the, uh, the hook Velcro on the back edge. I'll, quite often I'll just kind of roll that up to kind of keep it from sticking. And I'm going to throw that right over the top of the seat. And you want to inch this on a little bit at a time. You're going to notice it's really, really tight. Um, the other thing you want to do is, is when, as you get it on, you're going to, again, line up the seams of the seat cover to the seams that are on your seat. Okay? So we're going to inch that on a little bit at a time. A little bit at a time. Okay? So I'm lining up my seat cover. I can feel here's the seam here. But here's the seam of my cover, so I gotta move that over, see? As you move that into position, you'll notice that seat cover will fit just like a glove. Um, so again, um, we're gonna manipulate the, the corners of our material, because we want the salvage, remember for where the two pieces are sewn together, we want that going forward. Okay, so I'm gonna work that before I get it pulled tight down on top of the seat, I'm gonna work those corners of the fabric along here, along here. As it goes down along the front, we're going to transition that from, from going over to this side. We're going to transition it. Now we're going to put that the salvage to the front part of that. And you see how nice that makes that look. So we want the salvage over here on this particular one. And again, here's our airbag seam that will deploy. Um, next, we're going to tuck the seat cover underneath the plastic for the headrest. To do so, I'm going to stand up on this truck. It's so tall. Okay, and you want to do the push button side first to avoid damaging anything to that. If you start on this side and come across here, you could damage the push button. So we always want to start with the push button side first. Okay, now I've got this started. The easiest way I know is just to kind of stand up into the truck and I'm going to take and pull down left and right. On, on this cover to pull it into position. Um, I'm tucking on the inside here. Pull that down. We want that all to get flush. The top of the seats should be nice and tight. What I was doing on the inside is I was tucking this fabric. We want to tuck all this stuff in. Okay. This has to be tucked in here. And we've got a little slack to take up here. See that pull and tighten right out of there. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to tuck in that front edge of the seat cover. Okay. And we want to be really careful of these Velcros. You can't be tugging or pulling on these things left or right anyway. But what we're going to do is we'll pull this seat cover down. It's going to wrap around the back side of the seat and those buckles will fasten to it. 
But here again, we want to make sure that we have the seat cover in center. And then we're going to pick up some slack on it. So I'm going to grab with two hands, not onto this Velcro. I'm going to pull down on the front. See how that hole tightened down? You can take your hand, sweep that down, gain a little bit on it. I'm going to grab the other side, pull that down into position, and then I'm going to tuck that in. Now, you can use your head, but if you just lift this lever, it can just about knock you out. I'm going to use my head to hold that for the seat because I'm using one hand to hold the seat cover into position here. So I'm going to keep lifting and fold that cover all the way to the front. Okay? Um, the other thing you do now is this carpeted flap. You lift it up all the way and just let that Velcro stick. That'll just that'll hold that thing up out of the way for you. Okay? So we're gonna reach in here. We have that seat cover centered. Now keep in mind, we don't want to pull hard on this Velcro, we're gonna tear this off. But in the end, this Velcro and this other side Velcro here. We're going to hook up there's a little bit of fuzzy carpet right here so these guys will hook to here to here at the final stage what we're going to do now though is we want to gain as much as that slack so i'm going to grab with both of my hands here i'm going to pull as hard as i can up and hold in position and fasten that velcro right down onto the velcro that's on the front okay now I'm going to go to the inside, same way, I'm going to pull hard, and I'm going to take that, that Velcro buckle and place that down, okay? Next I'm going to flip the seat up, I don't want to hook these Velcros quite yet, I'm going to make sure we're in correct position, I'm going to flip this up, take a look at it, this looks pretty good, so what you can do too is you can gain a little bit on there, okay? And you'll notice it's not tucked completely into where the bolster is, the way that the factory does that is they actually fasten the upholstery material down into the seat is the way they get sucked in. Um, this will flex in over time, but uh, to gain a little bit on there, I'm going to just take and sweep my hand down the front. I'm going to do it here, kind of gain some of that slack, and then I'll flip that seat ahead while I'm holding that slack. Okay. I'm going to come around to the back side, disconnect that Velcro. I still held the slat there, see? I just got about another half inch to three quarters of an inch on it. Okay? Fasten that one. Come over to this side. I'm going to give it a big pull. Yeah. Got a lot more off of that one. Very good. Now, the idea behind these side Velcros here, I'm going to pull these to the side while I'm sweeping on the front of this cover, and I'm gonna hook that up. Also, on this side, I'm gonna sweep my hand along the front of the side of that and just connect that up here, okay? Now, I'll flip this down, I'll show you what I was doing. I was sweeping my hand this way and have effectively removed a lot of the problem wrinkles that are commonly seen in this area of the cover. Um, so wrinkles removed, everything is looking good. We'll go ahead and flip that seat up. Okay, next we're going to reconnect the uh, the plastics underneath the seat. And you're know, going to reach underneath exactly where that thing was hooked on. Go ahead, hook one side, hook the other. Last, we'll connect the hook Velcro to the fuzzy carpet that's on the side of the seat. Um, one thing we want to do too here is we're going to tuck the seat cover in here. Look at this. See, we're going to cover up all that carpet show, and we're going to cover that up with the seat cover. Okay? That comes neatly over there. This hook Velcro sticks to the carpet right there. I want to go over to the other side, tuck in the inside part. Okay? Pull that down and connect it to the carpet. Okay? What I've done on this one is I actually pulled it to the inside to make sure it's tight. Now, lastly, I'm going to take both hands, I'm going to pull down hard and connect this hook velcro to the fuzzy carpet. There we go. Uh, move, move the seat. You'll notice everything moves the way it should. Um, nothing's being interfered with there. Um, if you do have any of those velcros popping out the front edge here, um, 
one thing you can do, as you can see here, is you can just basically turn that to the side and hook it into that Velcro, or we can just take that and just give a little snip off with the scissors. I, I hold my finger where the Velcro is connected, pull it away a little bit, give it a little snip. Um, you want to be very careful you don't cut your seat cover on this maneuver. So take it where it's connected, pull it away, cut, hook that back up. Alrighty. Good.